Hello, hello guys, my name is Lumi, so welcome back to the RAC server, and today we are exploring Spawn, uh, the Nether Hub, and we'll do a little bit of enchanting too. So yay for me for being consistent, uh, ha, uh -huh. little pat myself on the back there, but let's get to it. So this is the Nether Hub, uh, designed by Eternal Beta, and built by him as far as I'm aware. I'm not sure if he had any help, I'm sure he had a little bit of help from somebody, but I'm not aware who that was, but it's a fantastic, fantastic place. So we have an enchanting, a potion, uh, I guess repair? I wonder what's in this chest. Let's go check it out. Leather. Okay, nothing too exciting, but exciting maybe a little bit. And then over here we have some, I guess, smelting areas. Uh, so we have that. So... I am down the blue portal, and currently myself and the mushroom biome are the only things down that that away. Uh, down here in the gold slash yellow, uh, we have chilchemy. Uh, so chill and alchemy are both, uh, well, they're both here, I guess. This is their shop, rather. Uh, EB's contracting service is here. And who else is down this way? Benchy is also down this way. So all four of them, I guess, are down this way. And I'm sure there's somebody else that's down that way. I'm just not familiar enough with who's every which way. Down here in the red, you know, I'm actually not sure if anybody is down this way or not. Uh, right now we have a stronghold. Uh, this is just where they fought the Ender Dragon and whatnot. Sad I missed that, but, you know. Time goes on. And I believe this one... Yeah, I'm not quite sure whose that is yet. And then... Over here at the white... We have... I think Gorley is down here? Yeah, Gorley is down this way. This is a little pawn shop. Uh, we will be building a shop at some point. Uh, over that away. Uh, I've reserved a slot already. I just haven't well there's been other builds i've been doing so right now good guy gorley is uh, just having it where you can just take whatever you'd like uh you know not really asking for anything in return because sadly his place items here thing is an ender chest which of course links to my ender chest not his so what can you do uh let's see do we need anything I wouldn't mind a few more books. Let's take... Let's see, that won't give me too much, but I don't need too much. Let's see, so that'll give me... Oh, shoot, I forget what stacks paper come in. Uh, I think it's... Is it just one? I'm not sure. I don't make books too often. Oh, no, comes... So, 12, so... Three, four, okay, so I need four leather to make four more books. Uh, because we will be doing quite a bit of enchanting today. Because I would like to get some more unbreaking, uh, specifically for my sword. That would be nice. Alright, and I guess that's pretty much the nether for now. Uh, if you go in here, there is, down there is the link to the witch farm and a whole bunch of other stuff like that. But I guess for now we should head to spawn. Alright, so that's where an eventual beacon will be. I'm assuming. It looks like the materials are actually all in place for it already. They just need the... to kill the wither. Uh, let's see. We have these handy fan fountains right here. They're quite pretty. I'm not quite sure what this is. But, you know, I'm sure it'll get used at some point. And then we have spawn. Here it is. He was white last time I was here. I'm not saying it's a bad change, but it's a change. Uh, that's Ed. He's a chicken. I mean, in case that wasn't brutally obvious. Uh, and then this is a town square, which is circular, that I'm pretty sure EB made. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he made. Yeah. I think he did. Uh, oh, he did pluck it. 
Oh, I think that's not meant for me. It's meant for somebody else, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see what else. We have this, which is a building that I'm not quite sure of its purpose. I don't know whose house this actually is. I just like going through the chest, why not? Ooh, some sweet stuff in here, too. I like to call dibs on all that stuff, but... Oh, well, let's see. Can't really... Hmm, yeah, I'm not really getting any hints on whose this may be. Uh, but that's okay. We'll just uh, leave it for now. It's an interesting building style. I actually quite like it. But we'll just leave it and leave the gear for now. As far as you guys are concerned, maybe I'll come back and take it all. Ooh, was that iron? Yes, it was. <sighs> Must not take. That's actually one reason I move, moved away from spawn. Uh, so far, I guess is the best way to put it. I, you know, didn't want to be a re uh, I'm a bit of a resource hog. Uh, even if I'm not actually using it, uh, I just like to have it. Uh, I, I I guess I'm sort of, ooh, there was a building there too. Uh, well, that's just weird. Uh, well, that shaft isn't even finished. I, I'm very confused. Uh, there used to be a building here, I promise. Huh, apparently there's not anymore. All right. Well, uh, oh, it's turning night, uh, but spawns pretty well lit. All right, so that, by the way, is Gorley's tree, which hasn't finished loading. Uh, it's a massive build, and at first, I thought his build was ridiculously large. I was like, oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. That's so massive. I mean, uh, I mean, the, that may have been a bit of an exaggeration of my reaction, but... And then I realized that my build will more or less be this size, uh, except mine will be in the ground going up, not just starting at the ground going up. So I think Gorley and I have kind of similar building styles, and that's just go big or go home. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's Gorley's tree. Uh, upstairs right now is pretty empty, from what I understand. Uh, he's been spending most of his time at his base, uh, where he has his villager trading set up, and some slime chunks, and zombie farm, and sheep farm. He has a lot of farms going. Uh, over here is the RAC City, RAC City, Random Acts of Crafting City server, uh, stables, rather. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't saying, uh, you know, RA City City, that kind of thing. Uh, but yes, this is the stables. Uh, I'm not quite sure, actually, if any of these horses or donkeys are actually used. Uh, I, yeah, I'm just not quite sure. So I just don't use any of them. Uh, over here... <clears throat> hmm, terribly sorry. Uh, over here... I've actually never been down this way. So I'm a bit unsure if anybody... Is building down this way. Let's go check it out. Can't hurt to check, right? Get away. Uh, let's see. No, it doesn't really look like anybody's built out here. Uh, I'm not quite sure who built that, but we are one of the few spawn villages, I think, to have two lighthouses, so there's that going for us. But what can you do? Uh, so let's go ahead and explore the other way, and I will talk about my place here. Oh, and uh, this is Aragatus, I believe. Uh, he is uh, another Let's Player who's on the server. Uh, he hasn't produced anything in a little bit, but, you know, everybody takes breaks every now and then. Uh, oh, and I left a little bit of graffiti for the next time he logs on, but... Not quite sure when that'll be, but it's alright. Everybody takes breaks at... Goodness knows, I'm not one to talk. Oh. Was that you? Wow, if that was him, that was quite the shot. Anyway, this is a little castle thing, which is quite cool. It's a bit empty, but... Especially for the size, but maybe there's a room or something I'm missing. It looks like there's uh Oh, that's just a balcony. Huh. That's a bit empty for the size, but what can you do? Uh, poor Ed. I like his monocle, though. It's quite fashionable. Uh, over here, we have uh, Cage's Lighthouse, once again. Uh, up top, 
it's pretty cool. Uh, it's turned off right now because it causes uh, just massive amounts of lag, but uh, it's a actual functioning lighthouse with a day and night sensor and all that. And, you know, it rotates around and around, but uh, again, the wiring slash pretty much everything just kind of makes it laggy, so you just kind of don't deal with it. And so we just turned it off. Uh, so yeah, that's that. That's the lighthouse. It's a nice lighthouse design, though. I really like it. I kind of think maybe instead of clay, it should have been done with wool, because the white isn't really white, because well, I think that's... Yeah, that's clay. Uh, this is EB's house. Uh, I don't think he spends a lot of time here, actually. From what I can see, uh... Seems like he's never home. He's always on, though. Well, not always, but he's on quite a bit. But whenever he's on, I feel like he's not here. Well, I think Gorley and I are the ones who are on the most right now. And I hope to see more people getting on more often, but... Eh, you know, everybody takes Minecraft breaks. Uh... Spawn... Oh, so spawn is that way. And question marks are over there. And this is Alchemy and Chill's house. So from what I understand, uh, I've been a little bit... I don't want to say preoccupied, but... You know, thanks to my absence from the server for a little bit. Uh, I think I missed something. And apparently their house burned down. And so they're rebuilding it. And it's quite a cool little design here. Uh, he... Uh, well, rather, they have finished it in a creative world, but, you know, it's all, it, there's always just a little bit of time after you build something in creative where you're going to build it in a survival world that you just need to take a second to relax. Now, over here is actually one of the cooler houses on the server to me. Uh, this is Frog's Place, and it's pretty dang cool. Uh, I'll just go down to the first level because otherwise it takes forever uh, to get back up here, but it is... Well, it looks pretty much like this the entire way down. Uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of chests, and it's a very cool idea, uh, but sadly, Frog, his uh, power supply died, and uh, thanks to a lightning storm, I believe, and so he hasn't been able to record. Uh, I've tried getting in contact with him as I have a spare one laying about, so Frog, if you see this, hit me up, guy on Skype. Come on now. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, let's go over to the most important place in spawn. Uh, this is the spot that, you know, really is where all the magic will happen. And that's this place. Uh, this is my plot. Which, you know, is the most important place to me, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go for a modern house design, just like I have over at... I don't even know what direction my house is. Uh, over yonder... No, that's not right. It's probably over that way or that way. I, I don't know. Somewhere. Anyway, wherever my house is, uh, I'm going to go with a modern design. Uh, work mostly with quartz, uh, half slabs, uh, glass, uh, I think nether brick fencing, and something else. I forget. Oh, well. Anyway. Uh, and we'll, <clears throat> we'll build this in one episode. I'm not quite sure which. Uh, hang on just a sec. Sorry, had to get a drink of water. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure how much this house will actually be used. Uh, I have a pretty decent idea for it, and I've sized the house accordingly, actually. And I think it'll work out pretty well in the way I want it to. It's just, uh, you know, actually the act of doing it. So we'll, uh, slowly over time, I'll bring over more supplies to uh, build the place, and then we'll make an episode out of it. Should be some... Good old-fashioned fun. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the spawn town right now. A couple of, mm, a couple of people, besides myself, haven't really built anything here. Uh, I actually don't know who they are, but I know there's a few of them. I know I'm not the only one anyway. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and go over to... Hmm... I guess we'll head over to the end and do some mass enchanting. I want to get a new pair of pants and repair my diamond chest plate. I want to enchant all these books. Uh, oh, I suppose I should make these, huh? Come on now. 
All right, so enchant all these books. So let's see, I wanna enchant all that. I wanna repair this. Uh, oh, I left my efficiency four book at home, didn't I? Shoot, I wanted to make that efficiency five. Let's go check this ender chest real quick and see if I brought it. If not, I guess I'll just... What was that? What was it? I mean, that was triggered by a day-night sensor, but I'm not sure. Huh. Oh, well. Uh, nope. I did not break it. Shoot. Oh, well. I guess I'll just... I'm not appreciating the piston noises, you know? I... I'm rather jumpy. Especially when there's a prank to be done. That has been done. But, oh, well. Uh, let's see. Alright, so I'm gonna head to the end, I guess, and I will see you guys there. Alright, so we are back here in the end, and... Bam! Uh, well, you can't see it yet, but give it a second. Come on now, any day. There we go, starting to load. Ah... Uh... There is our end farm. Uh, it's quite cool. It's uh, the pretty standard end farm design, I think. I don't really think there's any other end farms out there at the moment. But uh, basically, they just spawn on a pad, and the second they spawn, a piston pushes them off to here, where they are one shot with your hand. Uh, so let's turn down the sound a little bit. So what I'm going to do is actually first let's uh anything, anybody leave anything good in here uh, i left most of the enchanted gear in here uh be, well i've taken quite a bit of it too from here uh mostly a power three bow i think uh let's see anything i want to fix up you know i wonder if we could can we combine these two for a reasonable cost? Yeah, okay, 34. So that's what we'll do with that. Because Fortune 2 isn't that great on its own, but with Efficiency 5, and hopefully I can... Ooh, do I have more books? I swear I saw more books. No, nope, must have just been mine. Uh, but with Efficiency 5, it'll be a good pick for... Uh, for some stuff, I guess. So I'm just gonna do this, uh, and we can, well, I guess, actually, while I do this, we can talk, because, uh, during just this first one, because I was so close anyway. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of experience farms, honestly. Uh, I do feel like they're a little bit cheap. They do tend to make the game easier, uh, sometimes, uh, too much so. But I have found that it has allowed me to, you know, do my projects more easily, uh, such as my giant digs. Uh, you know what? Let's turn that down even more. Uh, such as my giant pit, my... pretty much any of that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, this ender farm has been pretty much vital. Uh, I think that if I didn't have access to this farm... Oh, you know what? I'm not trying to go for the 34 yet. I'm enchanting a book. Uh, I think without this farm that my progress would have been much, much slower. And because of that, my what I've been able to, you know, what my plans are, basically, would have been much, I don't want to say wimpier, but much less grand. So, you know, for that, I am glad about experience farms. So let's enchant this. What did we get? Looting 2. Okay, I can combine that on my sword and get a looting 3 out of it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and farm a bit more, and I will be back. All right, let's do another book. So I decided I was going to do two books per enchanting run, I guess, because of, well, the amount of enchanting I actually have to do. So uh, I have that other book in my inventory. I haven't looked at it yet, uh, but I have it. I shift-clicked it into my inventory and just kind of haven't looked at it. So what have we got here? Please, what am I after? Uh, I wouldn't mind unbreaking. Maybe efficiency four. Uh, protection four wouldn't be bad. Yeah, let's see. 
Uh, uh, okay, and then the other one we have... Punch 2. Hey! I can enchant my bow more. Alright, that's cool. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get some more levels, and I will see you guys in a bit. Alright, we have another book. Uh, and it is... Hmm... Efficiency 4. And then the other one is... Knockback 2. Ah, I can put that on my sword. Okay, cool. Alright, let's do this some more. Alright, we have a second pair of books. And on this one we have... Blast Protection 4. Eh, actually, I've gotten worse. And this one is... Wow. An Infinity 1. Well, I feel like I could possibly trade that with somebody. So if anybody needs an Infinity 1 on the server, let me know what you got. I'm interested in... What am I interested in? Uh, oh, I guess clay. Hmm. All right. Back to farming. All right, here we go again. And what do we get? Sharpness 3. Hmm. I wonder if I can put that on my sword. Hmm. And the other one is... Protection 3. Okay. Ah, both of those are actually pretty good. Back to it. Okay. I've enchanted two more books. And we have... Smite 4. Not the greatest, but hey, you know, could be worse. Sharpness 4. Alright, we're making progress. Put it in here. Uh, this is where I've been putting all the books, by the way. So you can see them all. So, pretty 80. We've been getting a lot of sword enchants, actually, come to think of it. But, no matter. Continue. Alright, here is our last book. And we got... You know, I think... Just real quick, uh, I think a cool thing would be that if you got to a level, oh, let's say 40 enchant, and you put in, for example, a sword, you could actually pick, let's say, two or three enchants that you would want to have on the sword, and it would definitely have those, but at varying levels. I think that'd be kind of a cool idea. Anyway, protection three, and protection three. So, protection four, basically. Okay, uh, that will go well with my... Well, okay. I, I really need a fire protection one, I think. Oh, I have that. Okay, so now it's time to do legs. Uh, let's... Where's my diamonds? Right there. Alright, let's build these guys. Uh, I do appreciate wearing full iron gear, or full diamond gear. Uh, mainly because... When it comes to this game, I'm okay. I'm not great, uh, but I'm okay. So I like to have a little bit of a safety net. So first we'll enchant the pants, and then I will make my sword, and... You know, I'm going to do all of this repairing and enchanting and combining all of this stuff uh, on my own, and I will just get back to you with it. Hang tight. All right, welcome back everybody. That was quite the break I had there. Well, not so much a break as a mass enchanting session, but we got some good stuff out of it. And the reason I'm leaving with 40 levels is because I'd like to try to be able to repair my bow. Uh, I tried to repair my sword, which I threw uh, a loot, the looting 2 and knockback 2 on, to, and a smite 4 to make it smite 5, looting 3, fire aspect 2, knockback 2. But it's too expensive to repair now, uh, no matter what. No matter if I just throw in a diamond or a barely alive sword, I tried to repair it with this one, I tried to repair it with another sword. And so what I ended up doing is just enchanting that other sword with sharpness 4 and knockback 2. And then I'll try to get another knockback, uh, another looting book as I go before I lose the sword anyway. And then over here, uh, I went ahead and threw on the punch too. I think that's the only thing I did here. Uh, I was originally going to put the unbreaking and efficiency on the fortune 2 pick, 
but I realized I didn't have a work pick, so I needed to, well, get a work pick. So I put it on this one, Efficiency 4 and Breaking 3, nothing too exciting. Uh, up here we have my Boots of Freefall, which are the only things I've named because I enjoy Diamond Boots. Uh, feather Falling 4, Protection 4, Diamond Leggings, just Blast Protection 4, uh, Diamond Chestplate, Fire Protection 3, and Thorns 2. And my Diamond Helmet, which is Projectile Protection 4, Aqua Affinity 1, and Respiration 3. So with all of this, I am pretty much set. Uh, apparently, from what EB tells me, and he's not one to lie, uh, you can actually enchant your armor with Unbreaking, which actually isn't that surprising. Again, I'm not really in the Minecraft loop, and so, you know, I'm a bit slow when it comes to that kind of stuff. So... Perhaps I will come back here and try to get some more enchanting done to get some unbreaking enchants as well, so that my pretty little armor will last a bit longer. But for now, let's go ahead and head back home and see what's up. Alright, so it just turned day by the sound of it. Uh, just hang out a second here, wait for the lag to subside. Uh, do I have any lag testing blocks? Oh, we'll use this fence. Whenever I... Oh, wow. Uh, normally it takes quite a bit of time to load, but I guess this was a good day. Uh, let's see, do I have any string? Actually, you know what? I... Oh, I have books in here, that's right. Uh, anything spectacular? I wonder if I can make my chest thorns three. Let's just see. Can I make you thorns three? I can. Ooh. That might be something we do. Uh, but let me find my string first. And, ooh, another one. Ooh, I can make this an efficiency five pick. Uh-oh, we're having a, a quandary. Do I make my pick efficiency five and enchant my armor with thorns three or do I repair my bow uh, hmm I, actually you know what I bet if I combined this with oh I don't have an ender chest here let me go grab it uh, I bet if I combined this pick with my other efficiency for fortune two that would make it efficiency five fortune three pick I think but then I still wouldn't have one breaking on it. So I think my bow's okay for now. It's not even half dead. So let's just go ahead and throw on thorns. And hopefully we'll have enough to make this efficiency 5. Uh, okay, that's only 8. Yeah, we should have plenty. And throw on thorns 3. Alright, we are quite geared up. So that's going to do it for me today. Uh, I'm not quite sure how long this episode is because of the amount of editing I'm going to have to do, thanks to my enchanting. But I had a lot of fun today. I got a, quite a bit done, even though it doesn't really look like it. And we're going to be more than set for the future. So I have no idea what we're going to be doing next episode. Uh, I think we'll either... Well, I honestly do not know yet. I think maybe we'll try to plan the city outline. I'll try to figure out exactly how big our rich district is going to be and uh, then try to plan accordingly on how far out of the city I'm going to go and then we have to figure out where exactly all of this stuff is going to, what's going to happen to all of this. Uh, so that's going to do it for me. My name is Lumi. This is Minecraft on the RAC server. And uh, have a good one, guys. Bye now.